Hey everyone, I want to do a product review of this paint tray that I picked up last Gen Con uh, from Altruistic Gifts. I will have the link for their website in the description below. Uh, and also on top of uh, doing the review, one lucky subscriber is going to get this additional paint tray that I picked up. And so when I bought this, I bought this in mind to use it, figure out what I liked, what I didn't like about it, do a product review on it, and then give away the other one that I bought for that purpose. And so to start off, it's been almost a year since I had this thing. Uh, I didn't intend for it to take this long, but with everything that I went through in the last year, uh, it's kind of got delayed, but here it is finally. The first thing I want to show you is this actually has this actually has handles. So there's one there. This sticker doesn't come with it. This is actually for a, a miniature holder. That that came from Ruth Core right there. This miniature holder with some putty on it. So it's got two handles on it. There's one. Here's one. So you can pick it up, take it wherever you want to go. It's good for travel. I've taken this places. I've taken this to work used it with kids that I worked with, taking it to a game shop, and I can just move it around, I can just pick it up with whatever's sitting here. Um, so one thing I like about it is the, the handles. I like how many different slots there are for miniature brushes, or for brushes. And so they got bigger slots for bigger brushes, and then they got these other slots here, which I'm not quite sure what they were for, but I just filled them in with extra brushes I had, and yes, I have tons of brushes. And I've filled them in with tons of brushes. If you notice, I have a lot of brushes here. In these slots, I'm not sure what they're for, um, but I put them, but I put brushes in them. And then they have these here. So what I like about this setup here where it holds this paint is that I have pods in there, but let's say I have like a, a vial type bottle. I can just stick it down in and it sits down in because there's actually a second hole where the pods are wide enough that you just go through the first hole and boom, there it is. They do have it set up too. Now, if you want to put this bigger one on top, you could, and then put this, uh, should I say, where the smaller holes are, if you want to put that on top, you can, uh, and then put the one with the bigger holes on the bottom, but to me that makes no sense because then you couldn't use pods in it. And then I talk about the cup holder. It's nice that it has a cup holder, but really I hardly ever use it. And actually the cup holder is so big, this is something I don't like about this uh, paint tray is that this cup holder is so wide that I'm not going to use that big of a cup or even a bowl that's going to fit in there. And I have this sitting there just in case if I do use it when I have a lot of different paints here. But most of the time I just have this sitting off. And so I would rather much have uh, some of these little paint slots here. Okay, so that's something I didn't really care for. Uh, another thing that I really like is this tray here, there's a little box here which I got full of all sorts of different stuff. I like to keep napkins on hand, that way if I spill paint or if I need to uh, wipe my brush or dry brush or something. And so, you know, I got a miniature holder here, got a couple extra corks for that miniature holder, got some glue, knives, glue, some more paint. But the one thing that uh, I will tell you, and this is something that was supposed to be fixed, and there, I did another video about a year ago where I had assembled this thing and I'll put that link to that video in the description below so you can see me putting it together and what I had to do but the one thing I, you didn't see me do is I had to actually sand this down so the subscriber that wins the other one you will have to have a sanding block and you have to sand down the bottom and the edges and the top here so it can slide in and out because it would only go part of the way in and it gets stuck so I had to sand it down so I could go in and out all the way and I did talk to the person, I think his name was Daniel from Altruistic Gifts. And he said he rectified the problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's the basics. I mean, you have a paint tray, you have brush storage, place for a cup. But really, to me, it doesn't really matter. What, you, what I would probably do is I'd get another block of wood and cut it to fit in this slot, put it in there, and then I would drill you know, bore holes in it for the extra pots. Or just, you know, put a stick of uh, board in there and you can just, you know, line them up. Or you can put a piece of board in here and a piece of board in here and then bore 
I mean, however you want to do. I mean, if you have a, a bowl or a cup big enough for that, uh, feel free to use that for that. To me, I don't want a big cup of water. The reason that is, is um, you know, I, I don't need that much water because I don't stick my brushes all the way down. I only go to the side. And you can see right in the inside of this cup how much water I stick in there. And so when I, you know, clean my brush off, I don't stick it past half of this metal piece in there. And I just kind of wipe the sides. And I stuck that foam block in there just to have that there, like I said. So again, this is done by Altruistic Gifts. I believe this is a really good item. I would recommend this to anybody. But my recommendations for the um, company, Altruistic Gifts, is don't worry about the cup holder. Just take that out and just add more slots for more paint. Because as you see here on the table, I have a lot more paint uh, that I use at times. And I don't have any place to put it. And so the more places I can put it, you know, obviously the better. And what would be nice too is obviously if I had more paint storage here. And I have this open spot down here. If I had a little slide out that would slide in and out that I could put paints into as well. That would be awesome to have for this. That way I could, you know, have some paints storing down in it, slide it in when it's storage, pull it out when I'm painting and then they're right there. That would be awesome. And obviously you can't put anything on this side because of uh, all these paint brushes. So again, awesome product. I've loved it. I've used it, taken it everywhere. It's very handy, especially if you like to paint on the go. You know, if you really want to work on your miniature, obviously you want a, a prime spot where you feel comfortable doing it. Well, you get used to this thing, then no matter where you go, you know, you feel comfortable. And I like this here. I like how high it is because sometimes I'll prop my arm up on it as I'm, you know, holding a miniature a certain way so I could paint it in the light. You know, or you could even probably get a clip on light here. That way it kind of comes over and hangs over. So I really like this paint tray. I like the setup, but again, I wish I had more paint storage. So again, so I have a second paint tray here unput together for one lucky subscriber. All you gotta do is comment below something that you learned from altruistic gifts. So the contest will run from now until August 30th. So you have until August 30th to enter the contest. And again, to win this paint tray, all you have to do is leave a comment below of what you learned from Altruistic Gifts website, which is alltruetoyou.com. But I will leave the link in the descriptions below. That gets you entered in to win that paint tray. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.